Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we are prepping our Sanderson headers for installation. And uh, we're gonna add some clear coat to them. So stay tuned. These are my Sanderson CC10 small block Chevy headers. Uh, they are made of stainless steel and uh, I've decided I'm going to clear coat them. Uh, I made a post on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, I'm going to put that link right up here. You can head over and uh, check things out because I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff over there. And I wanted to know what you guys thought would look the best uh, with these headers. Now whether we would just uh, use the high heat header paint in black or stick with the natural look and clear coat them. And overwhelmingly you guys thought clear coating was the best for Dale. And even before I put that post up, I was inclined to agree with that. I really like the looks of these things. Um, my concern wasn't so much that it was, basically when you pop the hood on Dale, nothing is fancy, it's not showy under there. And that's not what I was going for. Um, but now when you pop the hood, these are gonna be fancy and showy. So, that's why I was thinking maybe I wanted to go with the black, but nevertheless, um, we're going to go through a few steps. This is going to be just a quick video of uh, getting these things prepped and clear coated. The biggest thing is cleanliness. His favorite sermon is cleanliness is next to godliness. Uh, if your hands are dirty or greasy, even just if they're clean, uh, they'll leave oils. Your hands naturally give oils off uh, on these and uh, you may run into problems even though you're spraying them that when, once they heat up, they may leave spots. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. You've had this pair of extra gloves this whole time? Just that way I'm not putting any of my own greasy fingerprints on these things. But the very first thing we gotta do is we've gotta wash them down and get them clean. I'm going to use a final wash, something similar to what you would use if you were painting. Not sure if that's what you're supposed to use, but that's what I got. Uh, or I could use a brake cleaner. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a spray on brake cleaner and that way that way we can kind of get into all the creases and crevices uh, and get that done places that I can't wipe uh, with the rag and then we're gonna go down and give the uh, the surfaces that we're actually gonna paint a final wash down before we do anything we're gonna cover up these holes classic cover-up I don't want any of that stuff going inside we're also gonna cover up the end on the collector so let's get the tape and we'll set you up and we'll get that done. So we've got these things all wiped down. We sprayed them down with the brake cleaner to get in all the nooks and crannies that I couldn't get with the rag. And then we give it a good wipe down. This was a clean rag before I started. As you can see, she's pretty, pretty uh, grubby. Uh, just getting off more uh, of the dirt and stuff that was on there. Let's uh, grab the clear coat and show you what we're using and uh, get the spray on that on too. So what we've got is a couple of cans of the VHT flame proof very high temperature header paint and this is the clear coat and uh, it's good for up to 1300 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or 704 to 1093 Celsius for all you metric guys. You've combined metric and imperial. You, you might get an interdenominational uh, hangover of that kind. You know, from mixing the two measurement systems. Uh, it's going to go on just like paint. And I'm not sure how many coats specifically to put on it, but I'm going to put probably at least two, maybe three. See how it goes. So uh, let's get to spraying. And if you haven't done it yet, now would be a good time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we got lots more coming on this uh, Dale the Truck exhaust project. This is just the first of uh, at least two videos, maybe three, of getting the headers prepped. The next video will be the install and then after that we'll, we're going to do a comparison uh, with uh, speed, performance and all that good stuff now that we've got Fitech fuel injection system on there and uh, see if it improves performance, uh, fuel economy. Tech tip of the day, OCG. Don't be a wank. Fill your tank. Sound. Uh, sound is really all I'm going for here. Uh, headers give a very distinct sound, and that's kind of what we're looking for. So um, there's going to be a few videos on that, 
And uh, then we've got a couple of other projects coming up on Grandma, my 04, um, Mercury Grand Marquis, as well as my 79 Chrysler Cordoba, which we're also doing a fuel injection kit on. Uh, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get the camera set up and we're going to start putting the first coat on here. So uh, let's get started. So before we get to spraying, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did read the uh, directions on here again. Um, it says that I only need one coat, uh, but if I'm doing more than one coat, to wait an hour uh, between those coats. So I think the plan is, is I'm going to spray a coat now, uh, and when I come in in the morning, uh, I'm going to spray another coat on, and then probably halfway through the day, I'll spray another coat. Um, it also says to scuff the surfaces uh, of what you're painting. Now, I'm not going to do that. This is raw stainless steel. Um, I don't want to ruin the finish that's on it now by scuffing it. Uh, so I'm going to take my chances and do it this way and hopefully things stick. Shake can vigorously. The heck is vigorously? <laughs> So there it is, there's our clear coated Sanderson headers. We've got one coat on. We're gonna wait again till morning to do the second coat. So I'll have to come in a little bit early uh, because we're gonna be using this bay at some point. I can always uh, take those things off and hang them somewhere else to uh, let them dry for that second coat. So that is really all there is to it. The biggest thing with these, like I said before, is cleanliness. And uh, making sure that your greasy fingers or oily fingers aren't getting on there because once those do bake up when they're installed in the vehicle for the first time then those greases and oils will burn off and they can and have been known to leave marks especially on painted uh, headers so hopefully the clear coat uh, does not react that way once we get them installed like I said we're gonna come back here and do at least one more coat maybe a second sorry third and uh, then the next time you see them, they'll actually be getting installed on my small block Chevy in Dale, the truck, my 77 Chevy C10. So that's it. It's just a quick video on what I believe is the proper way to clear coat headers uh, based on the research that I found, based on the instructions on the can. And uh, if you guys want some of this uh, VHT clear coat high heat header paint, I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description box below. Uh, for my Amazon affiliate, and you guys can go down there and uh, pick some up for yourself. Anyways, uh, that's going to conclude this video, guys. Don't forget that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show happens every Thursday evening, and it's a joint effort between me and Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan. I'm going to leave his link right up here. And it's a car show, it's a talk show about cars. We do have guests. Uh, this coming week, we've got Ellie from Ellie's Garage. Her and her dad are going to be on talking about her Ford Falcon. Hope you guys can join up and uh, listen to what a 16-year-old girl has to say about hot rodding. Uh, she's an interesting person. She's got a great little channel, lots of energy. I hope you guys can uh, take a look and uh, you know be a part of the conversation over there as well. Uh, the week after that, we're closing in basically on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show season finale, and that will happen after our award show, which is after we have drawn for the Kill Mat and for the Forever Sharp Steering Wheel. That's right, we're giving prizes away in our awards show on the 22nd of April. Hope you guys can be there for that. Uh, all it takes is for you to be in the chat. We'll talk about that in the live stream. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.